Welcome to another Evil Live Readings. Today I'm reading Clive Barker's Hellraiser Omnibus, Chapter 21. I would like to invite you to support this channel by becoming a member and shopping our Evil Live merch. Both links are in the description below. How is this possible? Oh, Kirsty, we've come too far for you to be asking these questions. I activated the box, but I didn't touch it. You've been my plaything since that moment. Be strong, Kirsty Cotton. This whole time? We are straying from the point. Pay attention now. This next bit is important. His mind was abnormal. Pain was something he had almost completely dominated. And this was when he was still human. It was clear that our usual methods did not apply to him. Is that the best you've got? And that brings us back to Paris. This is where I would show him the best that hell had to offer. Bonjour, my name is Daniel. I have an appointment. I'm here to uh, meet my master. Come, I've been expecting you. No! Help is on the way! We've got T-30 before Russians do what they're gonna do. You better make this damn fast, Amor. Thanks for the inspiring words. Monsieur, I have come to learn about pain. What's the test? Shh, you'll spoil the surprise. Are you nervous? Uh, I've never done anything like this before, but I've had... Urges. Yes. Are you aroused by voyeurism? Yes. Exhibitionism? Yes. Necrophilia? I've never told anyone. How could you know that? You are in luck. I have died many times over. I have such sights to show you. Within these walls, I provided him with a scenario to prove his loyalty to me. He passed with flying colors. He thought he was seducing his own daughter like a master, but he was simply entering a place where repression could no longer exist. It was a perfect seduction. So perfect, he failed to realize that it was he who was being seduced. Thanks for the stag film, but aside from depraved wish fulfillment, I don't see the significance. Once again, you're not paying attention. I have to know that he would test his limits of humanity. A child conceived of such sin would be a thing of beauty. A child? But none of this is real. It's not possible. Before you finish that sentence, I want you to remember where you are. You should know that you're about to be rescued. Risk? Time! Have to hurry! What the fuck was that? Your knight's in shining leather. Until we meet again, Kirsty Cotton. Coming aboard with two passengers. Gonna be tight. You have ten minutes to be very far away from where you are right now. <sighs> we must hurry. No shit, lady. I sense him. I fear his transformation is nearly complete. Is that you, old friend? When all this blows over, I think we should open another restaurant. I think you should be the chef, and I think we should call it Fat Eats 2. Who can use a little irony with their Armageddon? Irony is a new security. God help us all. I know you're here. Let your guard down. Let me in. We're trapped. It was our only option. We had to jump in or we'd be toast. Indeed, 
But it begs the question, what the hell do we do now? Come on, you son of a bitch! Three. Faster! Two. Fire the drone! Sir, yes, sir! One. What is that? I'd grab onto something if I were you. Oh no! There you are. And you brought friends. He is here, living flesh made of energy. I feel his power. It is vast. Fuck me. I knew something didn't gel here. How did you infiltrate that goddamn thing so easily? How did we get Kirsty out of there without a hitch? I do not understand the questions. It wanted you on there. It wanted us to escape. It wanted all of this. But to what purpose? We'll be together soon. What do you mean the airship has been hijacked? We don't have the time for this bullshit. Who holds a military airfield hostage anyway? I told you no military aircraft! What is wrong with you people? I told everyone this airfield is closed. How many more people do I need to kill? Do you think I'll hesitate? You're all dead anyway. Whitewashed tombs filled with dead men's bones. It is his will. I said no more planes. This is the will of God. He is coming. Do not come any closer. I am wired to bomb. I will do it. They always think it's God's will. He's not even paying attention. You know, I expected the worst, and somehow, it's worse than I imagined. You couldn't hide from me forever. No one can now. If it isn't my favorite girl on the whole route. So, the student hath returned. And what have you learned, I wonder, since your last confession? I've come to put an end to your tiresome machinations, old man. If you are king, then I am God. Priscilla Spencer. Aside from the name, we know nothing about her. And we're not even sure about that. No birth certificate, no print on records. It's like she was born in another dimension. Female, appears to be in her late 80s, but given her vitals, she's as healthy as a 20-year-old. Eggs are most unusual. That's why she was brought here. If she ever wakes up, she'll have a hell of a story to tell. You might be more right than you know. Thank you all for tuning in to today's evil live reading of Clive Barker's Hellraiser Omnibus. Please consider liking this video, subscribe to this channel, and ring the bell so you'll hear the toll whenever I upload a new evil live reading. And as always, remember that evil spelled backwards is live, so get out there and be evil.